Hello, everybody. Welcome back to OnlineEnglishTeacher.com. I'm your professor and host, Michael. And today we're going to be talking about uh, understanding American culture. Something that kind of bugs me from what students is that they, uh, especially if you want to uh, assimilate, that means to go to America or like to understand and uh, adapt American culture, uh, especially if you're taking the IELTS test and if you're trying to go to another, uh, uh, at least uh, English speaking country, it's very important that you understand the culture and the politics of that country, right? Because the politics and the culture of that country are vastly different than your own country. And same thing when I was teaching online to online to uh, English language learners, um, they had a problem understanding like presidents and vice presidents and, and presidential elect uh, uh, electors, right? People who are running for president. And I remember I had a student who asked, who's Joe Biden? I don't even know who Joe Biden is. I want Trump to win because I know who Trump uh, is. And, you know, that's not how American politics works. It's not who the most famous person wins. You know, it's, it's about, well, it, that does contribute, but it's also that somebody who uh, uh, has a strong political stance that appeals to the people will probably win as a, um, an American president. And one of the biggest uh, conflicts I've had with students, not really conflicts, but like the issues that they don't really understand is what is a vice president and what is a uh, president, right? Uh, for example, we have Joe Biden here and we're asking who is Joe Biden, right? And to, for those who don't know, Joe Biden was a former vice president of the USA under the Obama administration back in 20, uh, uh, 2008 right? Back in 2008. And people don't really know that. And a lot of students are saying, oh, who's Joe Biden? Uh, you know, I don't know who he is. Uh, so he shouldn't win because uh, I don't know him. Like, well, if you study American politics, which most students don't really do because they're worried about their own politics. If you study American politics, you understand that Joe Biden was a vice president. And that's why people in America know who Joe Biden is but people who are outside of America may not know who Joe Biden is, right? If you tell me who Joe Biden was in uh, before the election of uh, 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 the this past election that we had in America, I would say, yes, I know who Joe Biden is because I live in America, right? So it's very important that you understand if you're going to assimilate or move to an uh, English-speaking country, that you should understand the politics of that country. So what I'm trying to do now on this section is I, I want to educate you guys on how you guys can understand a little bit of American politics, uh, uh, just kind of a very basic level, right? So let's go, who is Joe Biden? So Joe Biden was a former president of the USA under the Obama administration. So if you guys remember Obama, uh, he was the first African-American uh, president, and I believe he was first elected in 20, uh, no, in uh, 2008. Yeah, uh, as well as uh, Biden was a U.S. Senate for Delaware from uh, 1973 uh, to 20, uh, 2009, uh, 2009 as well. And I think he served more times, but this is just like the most important. Uh, but now he's currently the 46th president of the United States, right? So he's president right now. And something I want to talk about is what he actually stands for. He's a Democrat. And, um, you know, his opponent in the past was Trump, who was a Republican. So for a Democrat, usually for Democrats, uh, but for Joe Biden specifically, he constantly supported public housing, mass transit, health care, and civil rights, right? That's what he supports in his political campaign. He has reserved previous opposition to abortion and has called his support to crime legislations in the 90s a big mistake. Um, I'm not going into big, de uh, big details about this. He just uh, has opposition against abortion or to abortion, and uh, he has been a supporter for crime legislations in the 90s as a big mistake. So in the 90s uh, in America, we had very harsh uh, uh, 
but I would say a little bit reasonable. I'm not going to get too political, but we had some harsh, but also uh, uh, maybe somewhat reasonable uh, kind of in between uh, 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 crime legislations in America. He opposed what he called some type of school uh, busing in the sixty in the seventies, uh, and has not changed his mind since the issue. So I'm not really quite sure about this because I wasn't born in the seventies. And uh, let me get rid of this. I really don't want this here. Let me get rid of this. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And. Um, Biden is widely considered an expert in a diplomacy and top negotiator. So diplomacy means like to be, uh, uh, you want to be a mediator, which means to be somebody who finds a, 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 a middle ground. A middle ground means like you're trying to find the good in bad situations. You're trying to, two parties who are maybe, uh, let's say, for example, Russia and Ukraine, they don't like each other. Uh, a, 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 a diplomatic person just trying to find a common ground or like a middle ground or even a uh, like an agreement on both sides for everybody to agree on to say, OK, we both agree and we will stop the fighting. But most likely with Ukraine and in Russia, that's not the actual situation. But, you know, that's quite a different situation. But with diplomacy, that's the skill of doing that, right? Okay, after two previously unsuccessful attempts, Biden won the presidency in 2020 and became the, uh, the 46th uh, president in January 20th, 2021, right? So he has been trying to run for pre uh, president two times, and now he has been successful. Okay, so something, this is very important here what is a vice president and what is a president, right? President versus vice president. So a vice president in the United States is the president of the Senate and takes over the role of the president if the president is unable to perform his or her duties, right? Remember, because a uh, president can also be a female, right? We do not have one yet, or we never had a female president, but does not mean a, a president cannot be female, okay? Uh a vice president will become the president if the president dies, if the president resigns. Also, as well, I believe that the president is like um, not resigns, but like they um, they can give temporary access of power to the uh, to the vice president as well. They can be the president for the moment, right? Just in case something bad happens, right? So a president is it's kind of like a back a vice president is like a backup president just in case something bad happens to the president the vice president will take charge and just like in and uh, uh, 2008 Barack Obama was the president and Joe Biden was the vice president so just in case something happened to uh, Barack Obama uh Joe Biden would take over right but thankfully that didn't happen well, the president is in charge. Uh, some something about the president is that while the president is in charge of putting laws and written by Congress in, uh, into action and making sure they are allowed, or they are followed. I mean, um, so a president has much more power, right? A president has much more power. A vice president doesn't really have a lot of power. They have more diplomacy, right? They go on, they go on to other countries and try to solve problems in other countries, right? So that's mostly what they do. Well, uh, while president is mostly focusing on the problems in America, while vice president is mostly trying to focus on problems in the world, sometimes, right? They're trying to focus on problems in the world or maybe bring attention to the uh, issues of the world to the president, right? So they do play an important role, but obviously the president has more power than the vice president. Okay, so we're going to play a little bit of a guessing game, right? Who is the current vice president for Joe Biden, right? Because a lot of people don't know uh, who Joe Biden was, uh, especially if you're not an American, right? Or in an English-speaking country, you may not know who is the current vice president right now. So uh, please leave the answer in the comments down below. 
and I'll answer back and let you know if you're correct or not. But this is this is a picture of the current vice president, right? So remember, leave your comment down below and I'll answer to you. So who is this person, right? So if you guys like this video, remember to please like and comment and subscribe, right? It really helped this channel a lot. And I hope to see you guys soon in the next video. Take care.